Hey you guys, it's Blast453 here and I'm going to teach you guys how to jailbreak on 4.2.1 and um, tethered and untethered and I'm going to teach you how to jailbreak on 4.1 with green poison and for 4.2 4.2.1 4 we'll be doing it with red snow okay, first you're going to have to go to greenpoison.com for 4.1 and then you're going to have to download the the um software or whatever you call it once you have it save it to desktop because it's easy to get to then I'll show you that in just a little bit next you're gonna have to do red snow for 4.2.1 and download the um the firmware type thing I have the firmwares in the description so don't worry if you can't find it okay so you just find the firmware that you need from what will be right one of those two, so it's 4.2. There. Put it into there. It's processing it, just wait a little bit. Well, while we wait, I'll just show you that I have no Cydia anywhere in here. Just games and regular icons. Okay, is this a new fix model? If you do have an MC model, just click yes, but they will probably not have it out for you. So just come back later. I do have an MC model, which sucks. So that's why if you do have MC model on iPod Touch or any other system device that has that type of thing, you're going to have to downgrade, and then you're going to have to jailbreak on Green Poison or any other firmware that's easier for you. Okay, after that, you just, let me just show you again. If processing it again. This time I'll just click no. Then just go to the next one. Notice this guys, um this is for um only for the 4.2 tethered. First, for your tethered, you're gonna have to just install whatever you need. And then later on, if you want to, you can go back to Red Snow and download the beta version. And it will be bad because they will enable your Bluetooth. So if you use that a lot, I wouldn't really do. It. I wouldn't do it. But if you don't like to be tethered a lot, and if you don't like to plug back your iPod or iPhone back into your computer then just don't don't do it or if you think it's worth it or anything like that click next okay first you're gonna have to turn off your whole device this is something called DFU mode if you guys don't know how to do it it's really simple so you do is hold the home button and then slide to it turn it off like this So you just slide to power it off, and then once you're done, they'll just tell you to just click next, like this. I'm not going to be doing it because I'm doing it with green poison because I have an MC model. So here, this, let's see, see, it just hold, hold that for 3 seconds. Then hold the home and power button at the same time for 10 seconds. Just wait until it's done. And then after that, you're going to have to hold just the power button by itself, right down here. After that, you will be jailbroken. It will be going through your whole device, and then once you're done with that, you will have a jailbroken iPod or iPhone or iPad. But since I didn't do it, there, that's pretty much it. Okay, that's how you do it on there. I told you about 4.2.1 tethered and untethered. Okay, let me show you for 4.1. Okay, here we go. I'm on 4.1 right here on my iPod Touch second generation. I won't, I don't feel like showing you, so I don't want to, but it is on 4.1. Okay, here they just tell you to get ready to start. Got these seconds. Then you hold the power button. Or a sleep button, whatever they call it. I think I messed it up, but. Then just hold the home button. Same process. And now it's jailbreaking. And you'll get this blank screen. 
it'll be rebooting. Make sure your device is plugged with iTunes first. It'll show you the old iTunes sign. Now your jailbreak is complete. And that's pretty much how you do it. That's pretty much how you do the jailbreak on 4.1.2 and 4.1. Green Poison and Red Snow. As you can see, the day is going down, so it's not nothing bad about it. It's nothing... It doesn't, it's not going to destroy your device or anything. It may look like it is, but it's not. It's just fine. It's just running down codes and stuff so that your device will have Cydia, all that kind of good stuff. Yeah. So next, you're going to have to open up your iPod Touch. And then they're going to have, like, something up there that says, like, installers. I mean, installer or something like that. And then all you do is just click it, and then they say, do you want to download Cydia or install it or whatever? Just click install, and then you'll have Cydia for your iPod Touch or iPhone or iPad. And then after that, you'll be done jailbroken. Okay, then, guys, this is what it would look like. It's called Loader, apparently. So all you got to do is just click on it, and then it'll open up. It's just loading sources. Then it'll ask you to install Cydia. Be downloading. It's pretty fast. Not that slow. And they're gonna be ask you if you wanted to uh, delete um loader because you really don't need it after you're done. Just click remove. So now all you gotta do, get out. Now you have Cydia there. It'll stay like that for a while, but once you click it, it'll be in. Oh, might reboot it for so it can work. After you reboot it, you'll be welcome to go to Cydia. And then you can Download some mods and tweaks, and I'll have some videos about that later on in my upcoming videos. So please rate, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Peace.